All right, well, you heard I'm a cheerleader, so I thought we'd get some crowd interaction going here. So when you hear something you like, I want to hear an oh yeah. Let's try just that part. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Wow, that was pretty good on the first one. I thought I was going to have to keep doing that until you got it right. You got it right on the first try. Good job. All right, let me ask you guys, who would like to have a better city? One, two, three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How many of you guys would like a more connected and engaged city? Give me a one, two, three. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, if you really like it, come on, give me a real loud oh yeah. If you, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. If you want a more engaged youth in our community, give me an oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, now we're talking. Okay. Well, this one's an oldie but a goodie, but I think you guys all know it. It goes two bits, four bits, six bits, a dollar, all for Memphis. Stand up and holler. You're going to stand up when I say stand up, and you're going to give me an oh yeah. Here we go. Y'all ready? Two bits, four bits, hey, six bits, a dollar. All for Memphis. Stand up and holler. That's what I'm talking about, all right. You know, growing up, I always thought I was gonna be a Major League Baseball player. I was gonna play for the New York Yankees. Went to college on a baseball scholarship my first year, transferred, this was before portals, so you had to sit out a year, and these two really cute girls came up and said, hey, you should come out for cheerleading while you're sitting out from baseball. And I said, hey, good idea. <laughs> And so, so I, I went to tryouts, I made the team, and that's really where I started to see the power of school spirit and what it can do to a school, what it can do to the attendees, what it can do to a community. It's transformative. My first year cheering, I got to go to so many great things. I was out in the community. I was at the president's house interacting with alumni. I got to go to all of the events at our school and I got to see a broad spectrum of these great things that young people were able to get involved in. And you know, people ask me all the time, they say, you know, how'd you get to be a uh, varsity spirit? For those who know me, uh, the obvious answer to that is God's grace. Um, but my mom, she was a single mom, two kids, we grew up in a really tough neighborhood in New York, um, much like some of the neighborhoods around here. And she put me in every single activity she could possibly put me in. I was in football, basketball, baseball, all the sports. I was in arts, she put me in piano. I had to drop out of piano because I got beat up for taking piano class. Uh, <laughs> dance class, same thing, I got beat up for that. So I, I just had to, I was like, all right, I'm gonna stay on the sports side. My, my peers seem to like that. Um, but it's that connectivity, that engagement where you're a part of a team. You're aiming for something together to be excellent, and you're all committed to it. You have accountability from your teammates. You have a coach that's driving you beyond where you think you could go on your own. It's that connectivity, that inclusivity, that unlocks potential in young people. So I've seen the power of it in my life. I've seen it in my kids' lives. I've had four kids. They were so plugged in from elementary school all the way up. They were plugged into all these activities. They've turned into incredible people. They're plugged into the community. They're making a difference. They feel a part of Memphis. They love our city. And then I've seen it at our work. We train hundreds of thousands of young people every single year in cheerleading, dance, band, yearbook. And you can see them when they come into the camp and they start to learn. They're, they're not quite together yet as a team, but as the week goes on and they learn new skills and they do new things, you can see them start to light up and enliven inside, and they work together towards this common goal of excellence. It's unbelievable, and it just warms your heart to see these young people hopeful for future. They want to get back to their school. They want to plug in. They want to make a difference. That's school spirit. And so we knew this, experientially, but we wanted to test it academically. So in 2010, we did a white paper. We hired a very reputable survey firm and we sent out over a thousand surveys to all the stakeholders that are part of schools. Parents, teachers, administrators, coaches, kids, 
How important is school spirit? In 2010, 92% of the principals said, when school spirit is high, student achievement is high. And so fast forward, post COVID, you know, it was one of the times we were wrestling as, a, as an organization, trying to think through, we knew that kids being locked out of schools was not gonna be great for kids. And so we wanted to do this again post COVID. So in 2024, we launched another survey. Thousand went out, same stakeholder group. How important is school spirit to schools? 98% said when school spirit is high, student achievement is high. Kids are more likely to be leaders in their schools. 91% more likely to be leaders in their school. 90% more likely to plug into the community. Think about the young people here from this high school that are volunteering all around us. That's so incredible. Student activities and student engagement goes up significantly when school spirit is high. More kids get involved. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think more kids are involved in positive activities like that? Do you think crime rates go up or they go down? They go down. It's unbelievable. It's a cycle. And so you just got to keep pushing for that school spirit to get these kids engaged, to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves, that inspires them to be who God intended them to be. So there's three things. How do you do it? That's the question, right? You know, school spirit's not, you know, sports games. It's not school colors. Those are manifestations of school spirit. When they're proud of the place they go to, that's when they start wearing the stuff. That's when they wear the school colors. That's when they want to be at school. That's when they want, they're proud to be there. They have been shown something that they want to aspire to be. They're excited about it. That's school spirit. So there's three ways, three C's. I do everything in three C's. Three C's, so let's see. Well, I was hoping we'd have uh, some folks over here. So this group right here, okay, you ready? You're gonna be create. You got it? You got it? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Create. Mm, that was weak. All right. <laughs> let's try it again. I know, I, here we go. One, two, three. Create. Much better, much better. All right, you guys here in the middle, you're contribute. All right, ready? One, two, three. Contribute. Oh, how about that, create? All right, over here on the far side, you guys are celebrate. Ready? One, two, three. Celebrate. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, so one, first step, create events that kids want to be a part of, not just sporting events, all kinds of events. The goal is to be inclusive, get as many students as involved as possible. Arts, music, academics, public service, sporting events, all of those things come together to create an environment of school spirit. That's the first C, create. We got it? One, two, three. Great. You did it, good job, contribute. All right, we want them to contribute. Let them plan their future. It gives them an opportunity to get skin in the game. They believe they can pull it off. They feel like they're a part of it. They're making it happen. It's pushing them beyond their comfort zone, getting them into a new area where they feel confident. It unlocks their potential and their ability. Contribute on three, one, two, three. Contribute. All right, now we got it going. The school spirit thing is rocking, and then we're gonna start to celebrate all of the success because it's good. I love it. Celebrate. Right? You know, that's always the first thing we want to do is celebrate. Celebrate. We want to catch them doing things right when they start to succeed, when it starts to happen, when you start to see it every single moment. Start celebrating it. Celebrate them for the great things that they're doing. Catch them doing things right. We're always focused on, oh, our youth's not doing this or not. Catch them doing things right and celebrate them. When they get celebrated, they feel enlivened. They want to do it more. They're encouraged. Celebrate on three. One, two, three. Celebrate. Yeah. School spirit is building up something that kids want to be a part of that is beyond where they think they could go, and it gives them a future that they can look forward to. The cities get better when they come together. When the youth are involved in positive activities, 
positive things happen in our cities. So I want you guys to commit to the three C's because you can get involved too. And let's make Memphis a great city. Thank you. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs>